Hey guys, I'm going to guide you how to set up your own OpenVPN server so you don't have to buy someone from some crappy provider with some terrible bandwidth and such and so forth. And, um, and we're going to use Docker to do that. So, let's begin. Um, this is a great little Docker project that I've discovered. And um, we're going to basically be following the instructions, but I prefer to work from the um, service file. Let's just grab that. Okay, let's put that in here. Du, du, du. This is in England. Oops. And uh, I want to get rid of all this IPv6 stuff. Sorry. So CoreOS, for those who don't know what it is, it's basically quite a good operating system. It, it's a self-updating system it's not very graceful it just reboots and uh, what else is good about it and you just basically run docker images in it and it, the rest of it is pretty limited okay we want that we don't need this ipv6 stuff um just want to keep things simple that should work yeah okay now, next thing we do is follow the instructions. So, I thought this was actually just creating a directory, but actually it's creating a Docker volume here. Yeah? So, let me think. Let's call this one uh, UK. Let's export that. Then let's follow these commands. So this sets up the volume, I believe. Oh, I probably want to change that to my VPN name. This is the name of my host. Uh, yeah, I think I must have pressed enter there. So unfortunately you have to put in some password here. I wish you didn't have to. Okay, now we generate the key. So I found once I've typed in the password, I didn't have to type it in. Oh no, you have to type it in again when you want to generate the individual um, open VPN client sort of configurations. And I prefer to not have a password when I generate those things. Okay, let it do its crypto magic. <laughs> Yes, it's finally done. Okay, so next step is to, I think, start it. Yeah. Okay, let's start it. I cannot remember. Okay. Uh, what did I call it? UK. So it would be something like. Hate typing these stuff out. System CTL, yes. Oh, God. Start. Okay. Let's see what it's doing. Running the journal. Looks fine. sure what that's about okay let's uh, so now we have if you go docker ps we should see open VPN running yay next thing to do 
is create the client certificates. Let's create one for my own machine, X1C3. No pass. Type in that password that we set. Great. Okay, so now we have we uh, now we generate the magical open VPN configuration. And that will get me connected to the machine. Oops, I should not have sh showed that, should I? Gotta edit that out. Sorry, I edited something out there because I showed you my private key. Um, what else? Okay, now let's check. Let's double check this works. Let's scribe it. Use it. I think it's working. Yep, IP's changed up there. So a simple test. Yep, I'm from corrupt2.com. Perfect. It looks like it's all working very, very well. I'm not too sure what this packet HMAC authentication stuff failed is. I think it's just probably SSH attacks on my machine. Um, what else is worth noting? My mind has gone blank. Oh, okay. Finally. Okay, let's. Let's enable this. The, the final test always is to make sure, especially with CoreOS, I mean, that your machine can handle a reboot. Let's try a reboot now. So on a reboot, um, for example, my grep uh, service kicks in and so does, so should the OpenVPN services. And the good thing about um, Docker is that, especially this config file, I mean, Depends on how you look at things, but it should always be pulling the latest OpenVPN server when it starts up. So if the OpenVPN server gets updated by that guy, it will pull in the latest changes. So it will, you know, theoretically stay patched and maintained and all that jazz. So, do, do, do. is it up yet? No, it isn't. Oh, it is up. Okay, so Docker PS. So, that looks good. That looks good. Now, final test again is to. Where did I put that open VPN? Test if this works again. Cool. Great. Everything looks like it's working. Um, and as I mentioned, it's really hard to see what the hell's going on in this open VP, uh, this the server. All looks good though, I think. Okay, I hope that f you found that useful. Um, you know, that's how to set up an OpenVPN service.